Hello you guys and welcome to today's video. Welcome to my channel if you're just stumbling across this video. I invite you to subscribe if you end up enjoying this video. But today I am coming to you guys with my annual gift guide. We're doing it nice and cozy today. It's raining outside like it is pouring. So it's a little gloomy. The lighting isn't the greatest, but it's giving us all the cozy energy and I'm not mad at it, okay? First and foremost, before I even get into it, if you are a family member of mine, you probably don't wanna watch this video because some of the gifts that I talk about in this video are actual gifts. So this is your warning. I know Christmas is like, 11 days away now, so we're cutting it close, but I still wanted to crank this video out for you guys anyway. Some of these are good last minute gift ideas, and a lot of these you can find on Amazon. A lot of stuff still is arriving before Christmas if you order like today. So if you haven't done any of your shopping or you still have a few people on your list that you can't really find gifts for, you're having a hard time, hopefully this gives you a little bit of inspiration. And of course, everything will be linked down below. Hopefully you enjoy. And let's get started. I think I'll start with body care because I feel like this is pretty universal and you can find this stuff at just about any store. I actually stumbled across a lot of these at Walmart and Target and it's these uh, Dove men's sets. It has a shampoo slash conditioner, a body and face wash, and it also has a deodorant. All you gotta do is wrap it up, and who doesn't use and love a good smelling body wash? So this is a good one for men, and then I also found one for women. This is the Olay Body Care Set. I personally love the Olay body washes. They're one of my favorites from the drugstore. They just smell so good. And the smell actually lingers. I use these myself, so I thought it would be a good idea to pick up a few of these to gift. So it comes with their, um, this is the one I usually use, but I also have this one in my shower right now in the yellow bottle. The rose one is probably the best one, so I was surprised that they had it in a gift set. And then if you can't find the sets anymore for whatever reason, you can always pick some of these up at Target. These are for men, but honestly, if you're a woman who loves more masculine scents like I do, I usually don't mind a uh, cologne-ish smell. This smells good. But this is the Goodfellow Moroccan Mint and Cedar 2-in-1 Shampoo and Conditioner. And I got this body lotion too. These are not technically a set, but they look like they would be. And they're both from the Goodfellow line at Target. They smell incredible. And they also would look aesthetically pleasing in the bathroom because they're simple. At Walmart, they also had these honey vanilla scented hand washes and hand lotion sets. Looks just like this. It already comes in a little basket you just pop it in a gift bag put some tissue and it already looks cute a few other smell goods right here so this is kind of in the beauty category to beauty body a perfume now you don't have to go out and buy the most expensive of the most expensive if you go to sephora they have a lot of travel size roller balls that would make great gifts i picked up a few of these as well to gift um and for myself so this one right here is the nest madagascar vanilla perfume oil and then they also have these are a little bit more expensive but if you want to buy somebody a really nice perfume and spend a little bit more money on them this is the replica by the fireplace it's one of my favorite 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 scents it is unisex so anybody can wear it. i actually want to in case you didn't know, they do have their more tiny versions and they look just like this. They're very small. Lastly, in like the beauty category is a good old brush set. So EcoTools has some really good brush sets. I feel like there are a lot of people that I know that would love a good old brush set that has everything that you would need. I know for a lot of people I know, they go out and buy a brush here and there, but don't really have sometimes a full collection. And it's nice to give somebody a fresh new start when it comes to their brushes. Trust me, there is nothing like a good old clean set. A good stocking set for two or even just a gift to give in general. I don't know why I thought I would have more beauty than that, but I'm trying to keep it pretty like universal-ish, so. Anyway, moving along for the stuff that I don't really have a category for, this is more of the random stuff that I think you can also never go wrong with. 
chocolates. These are my personal favorites, the gold ones in the middle. Uh, one year, one of my aunts actually gave me, not for Christmas, I don't think, I can't remember, but she gave me a whole box of these because she knew it was my favorite. It's simple, it's inexpensive, and again, you can gift this on its own or you can add it to something else. So for example, one thing that I'm doing is gifting a set like this with a box of chocolates for the same person. And you can also gift this to like couples that live together or something because they can both use both. But if you're having a hard time trying to find what to give somebody, try to think of what some of their favorite snacks and treats are. And with that, I have this next idea right here, which is a goodie basket. This is probably one of my favorite things that I have set out right here. And this I put together myself. It's easy, you can do it last minute as well. These baskets right here I got from Target. I believe they were like $8. And in here, I literally was going around Target and I'm like, hmm, what would they want? Because this is for a couple. And so I was like, what would they want and enjoy? And so I was going through the aisles and looking at all the different snacks. I did Chex Mix, you can do chips, it's up to you. Some butter cookies, good old Whoppers. These are beef jerky bites, some roasted almonds, popcorn, a few chocolates. I did one with uh, almonds and then a dark chocolate and then a gift card to Grubhub. And you can do Grubhub, Uber Eats, DoorDash, but my idea with this was to create an at-home date night or a movie night basket with a few things that they can eat for Netflix and chill at home or whatever if they're watching a movie and whatnot, but they can order their favorite food. And because this is for a couple, I went a little bit higher on the gift card, I did 50 bucks. But if you're doing it for one person, you can do less or whatever, however much you wanna spend on the people, you can adjust, of course. But I thought this was a good idea and even I would like to <laughs> receive something like this. This is really cute. So I got a few of these baskets and made them for a few people just depending on their interests. Like I have one, um, let me show you another one actually because I think these are really cute. This one is more of a self-care one. So makeup wipes, a body sponge, we have a perfume right there candle lip balm and good old bath and body works hand sanitizer and because my gift theme is black i'm gonna wrap these in like that black clear ish wrap that you would use for gift gift baskets i'm just waiting for it to come in the mail those are just some ideas for what you can include in the baskets and of course you can add take away anything depending on who it's for but i thought those were a really really cute more unique idea and those depending on what you put too can also be really inexpensive especially if you do like just all snacks then from there we have a wallet if you're like if you have a guy in your life and you're like i have no idea what to get them chances are they probably need a new wallet i don't even know how many wallets at least the men that i know how many wallets they go through especially like my dad he goes through wallets like crazy so i found some at target these are the good fellow past case wallets they look just like this they're just simple brown wallets they also had these in black this right here is something that you also cannot go wrong with and something like this you can pair with which i did uh the good fellow body washes this and then the uh shampoo slash conditioner this next one right here is pretty random but i feel like a few people would enjoy this one and this is a motivating swear word coloring book if you ever want to have a glass of wine and you don't feel like being on your phone but you're like i don't want to be on netflix watching tv i don't know what to do and you can pair this one with a pack of like fine line markers too and it's such an easy gift for an adult in your life and it just has like motivational like get your life together quotes in here let me try to find one that i already semi finished like this one right here not done yet but you know it's nice like i will literally pour myself a glass of wine put on some music some r&b and get off of my phone and just draw like there are a few times where i will look up and i'm like oh my gosh it's already been like a few hours and i haven't even looked at my phone or whatever and i've just been coloring i personally enjoyed coloring as a kid so this right here is like it's pretty dope. And another random thing that a lot of people might like too, and the reason why I know is because every time I show this thing right here, I get so many DMs asking, 
what it is and where they can get it. And it's so funny because I'm like, y'all don't even know what it is and y'all want it, but it is a car diffuser. So you know how we have, well, I don't have mine right here anymore, but I had a diffuser right here. You put water in it, you put your essential oil drops and it makes your home smell really good. Well, they have those for your car. And I got one for my car. It is matte black. I'm not sure if this exact one will still be in stock because when I posted this, literally so many people swiped up and purchased. So if they don't have this exact one, I'll link a similar one. But all you do is you plug it into the USB port in your car, pour in some water to the max, to the max little mark that's there, put a few drops of your favorite essential oil, click this button right here to turn it on. Some smoke will come out from here and it will have your car smelling so bomb. The one that I use, the scent that I use is the one from Aroma. It's like Santal. I'll link that one below too in case you want to get the duo. Like that'll be a good gift to one of these and then with an essential oil like that. Instead of using air fresheners in my car, I will use this instead and it just smells like a whole experience in your car and especially something like your car. Just like in your home, you're in there all the time so why not make the thing that you drive every day a little bit of an experience and that right there is definitely that of course of course of course of course you know i have to mention my very used up crocs i remember being that person that was like crocs are so ugly i would never buy them in my life i don't know what people see in them blah 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 why are these my favorite shoes like ever? I wear these all the time, rain or shine, socks or not, like sport mode or not, sport mode is my favorite, I'm not gonna lie. But a pair of Crocs, so essential in my opinion. And just if you have a person in your life that's like, I hate Crocs, I would never wear them, blah, 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 blah. Just buy them a pair. I have Thea's that wear Crocs too. Like just buy them a pair and when they put them on, they're gonna be like, so this is what y'all are talking about. Like they are, they're comfortable, they're lightweight and you can literally just throw them on and go. And I've seen a lot of people that make Crocs look really cute. With that, some Croc charms. So these right here are from a small business. I have the name right here, Shop K Bits. I'll put the Instagram handle somewhere on the screen. But the Croc charms are so cute and I don't have any on mine because I didn't really know which ones I wanted to add to mine. And so I have a few right here that are so adorable. A Nike one. You have the Louis Vuitton. You have a Chanel lipstick, right? Yeah, a Chanel lipstick. Oh, there's even a, a Starbucks one in here too. This one. This one says girl boss. If it were, there you go. There's even a Chick-fil-A one. <laughs> This is so cute. So if you know somebody who likes Chick-fil-A, it's a box of Chick-fil-A nuggets. There you go. They're just adorable. And if you like giving gifts, giving and giving, I mean giving and giving, giving and receiving gifts that are a little bit more custom or customized, this is a good idea. Crocs with a few charms that remind you of that person. This one right here is just more of an item that I feel like a lot of people will find useful and essential and especially if they do a lot of traveling and that is a travel bag so this one i actually bought it for myself okay because i needed a new one but the one that i have it looks just like this except it holds less this one right here looks small looks compact right but when you unzip it this is the real tea right here you unzip it and look at how much space you have to store all of your stuff when you travel and it comes with this hook right here so you can hang it on just about anything and it has one two three four different compartments right here and from the reviews i was reading that this one holds full size items as well they have this size and they have a larger one we have some pjs now not just any pjs but my personal favorite pajamas, and I would say I'm kind of like a PJ connoisseur because I spend a lot of time at home, I enjoy my home, and so I also enjoy having lots of cozy PJs. And my favorite ones 
are Skims PJs and Victoria's Secret pajamas. Now I've tried Amazon, I've tried Target, I've tried, there's this other like higher end brand. Why am I forgetting the name? Hold on. Cozy Earth, that's the brand. I've tried Cozy Earth. I've tried quite a few different ones and Skims and Victoria's Secret are just number one for me. Reason behind that is because I've washed them over and over and over and over and over again. I have found that Skims and Victoria's Secret keep their quality no matter how many times you wash them. The Target ones are also good, like the Target, I'm forgetting the exact name, but it's like a purple tag. They're like the soft PJs, those are good too. I find, however, that those shrink and I find that after a few washes, they kind of lose the quality a little bit. Of course, I mean, it's one of those things where you probably just get what you pay for, but Skims and Victoria's Secret, those are a little bit more pricey and for good reason, the quality is so good. So I have a neutral, of course, pair of Skims pajamas right here. And I'll link this exact one below if I can find it, but it's just this taupey, beigey, nudish, grayish tone right here. When I tell you that I have washed these literally so many times and they still look like when I first got them, I am not joking. I actually want a black, I have a black pair of these on my wish list of things to get myself for Christmas. This is how the top looks here. They are so soft, so cozy and lightweight and they also don't make me too hot at night and that's what I love. And then they also have shorts in this exact material i believe i don't know if they have short sleeves but they do have tank tops and shorts and things like that so you can kind of mix and match i do have home items i will do those more towards the end which we're almost there but a few items for more of like a tech person not even tech but somebody who has a phone and it is these simple phone cases so i have this brown one on my phone right now and i get asked all the time where it's from so i'll link it below and then i have it in white also from the same exact seller i love how thin simple and clean lightweight these are it's not bulky it just kind of adds a little oops a little protection layer to my phone while still keeping it minimal just how i like it and it is more of a silicone feel and then i also have it in a bright bright white so if you know what kind of phone somebody has i actually purchased a few um ooh, the lighting's a little bright now <laughs> i actually purchased a few phone cases as gifts this year with you know people's favorite character on the back or if they like something simple like i do that'll do the trick too and then this one right here is more for like a tech person or somebody who is into taking photos or does content or whatever the case may be just somebody who needs a tripod or even if you need a tripod this is the one that i use to take my own photos when i do take my own photos which is a lot of the time so you just, this attachment doesn't come with it, but I'll include, I think it's already linked in my Amazon shop. But you basically put your phone right here or you can put your camera if you unscrew this. And let me just give you a little demo. So you stick your phone on there, open up the tripod obviously, just like that. And then you can adjust how tall you want it to be or how short you want it to be. And this tripod comes with a Bluetooth remote that you can connect to your phone and you just snap your photos that way. I have two of these tripods because that's just how good they are. I have two of them. I have one in the house and one in my car. And the reason behind that is because there are days where I'm like nice and ready and stuff and I'm out running errands and I'm like, oh shoot, I wish I could take a picture right now because I found a really cool spot to take a photo in or whatever the case may be. And there have been times where I didn't have my tripod and I'm like, shoot, I can't take a picture because who's gonna take it for me? So having one in my car is like lifesaver because if I'm out and about, like I said, I can literally just pop my trunk, get it out and take my own picture. Next we have some home stuff. I'll first start with the stuff that I have listed on my phone because I can't really bring them over here. But one of them is my Nespresso, which is back there, right there. It is a matte black Nespresso. I have the Virtuo Plus Deluxe or something like that. I'll link the exact one that I have down below, but I am obsessed. At first, well, I had a Keurig before and I was like, what's all the hype about? Like what, how much better could this possibly be? 
And literally when I tell you I don't go to Starbucks as much as I used to now, I do go sometimes because sometimes I just am on the go or I just want somebody to make my coffee for me. <laughs> but for the most part, I will just make my own coffee here at home. I'll do iced coffee, I do coffee, you can even do espresso shots. So it is very versatile if you know somebody who loves coffee and if you wanna splurge on them a little bit, that right there is really, really good. For an espresso, they do have different pods, which is also another good gift idea, getting them a few of their favorite pods. So I even added that onto my Christmas list because my family asked me like, what do you want for Christmas? We don't know what to get you. And I was like, these are my favorite Nespresso pods. It's a small gift, but trust me, I will appreciate it more than anything because if you have an Nespresso, you know that Nespresso, the pods are not cheap. They're obviously a little bit more expensive. They're expensive for sure. A lot more than the Keurig ones and you get less, but they're just, it's so worth it, they're so good. So gifting a pack or two of their favorite Nespresso pods. I have a few of them right here. My favorite one is Caramel Cookie. This is a coffee pod. It's more of a light, kind of almost like a blonde roast vibe, I would say. I don't like super strong coffee. Even for me that I don't like super strong coffee, I still love Nespresso, so there's that. But you can just pick and choose your pods. Like some pods are obviously gonna be a lot more bold and intense. So if you want an espresso but you don't like super strong coffee, you can get pods like Caramel Cookie, which is a little bit more of a lighter pod. This is a coffee pod. And then I also have my other favorite, which is what I use for when I wanna make a vanilla latte at home. And it is the Bianco Leggero. I believe it's how it's pronounced. Looks just like this. So this little pod makes you two shots of espresso. So look at the difference here in case you're like, what's the difference? So the, the coffee pot is bigger. It literally gives you about half a cup of like a regular mug of coffee and then you add your cream or whatever. And then this right here is, it's gonna give you a lot less, like literally this much, but it's espresso. So that is why it's a lot stronger. So these right here are my two go-to ones. I personally did not get my Nespresso with the frother that it came with, but if you have a coffee lover in your life as well and they don't have a frother just yet, just give them one because they'll thank you for putting them on and finally getting them on the frother game. So I have this one right here that's a handheld marble milk frother and they had it in marble, they had it in I think quartz or something, they had it in wood, black, a few other ones. And I also have this frother right here which does cold and hot. So all you do if you haven't used a frother you just Put your milk or creamer of choice in there to the max level and then close it up and you choose whether you're doing iced coffee or hot coffee. Froth it up and it, the light will turn off when it's done and then you just pour it in your coffee and that is it. Uh, a good old coffee cup too. I have different types of coffee cups. I have this one that is an on the go cup that is really neat because it's glass and um, it comes with a lid and you could close it up right here if you're like in the car and you don't wanna spill it or whatever. It has this cork holder so you don't burn your fingertips when you're holding it. But it's really, it's a cute cup that I think a lot of people would use. I'm like trying to close it. Um, it's a really universal cup. I think they also have some with like black lids and stuff. And then also if you know somebody who loves doing their coffees at home, iced coffee specifically, I found these tall soda can glass cups. And I've seen the ones that are like a little bit smaller and those are cute too, but I stumbled across these which are the larger version and you can use these for coffee or you can use them for any drinks really. I think this one comes in a set of four and you have yourself a very Instagrammy cup because I know these cups are like super, super trendy right now. And then last but not least, if you want to get somebody in your life that loves wine something and you don't want to get them wine, which I don't know why you wouldn't because I would love to receive wine even. But this right here is a really nice, chic, huge wine glass. These don't come in a set. I bought these individually, but these are huge. You can probably fit half or almost a full bottle <laughs> of wine in this glass. I haven't tried it, but I have done, like I've poured it to here and it's 
a lot of wine. It's huge, but I love it because you can like swirl it and it just looks very luxurious. I personally love a good wine glass. So this right here is really nice. I'm like trying to give you a size comparison. This next one is a really good one for like a family or for anybody who likes hosting or anybody who has a new apartment or whatever the case may be. And it is this huge cheese board. It has a slide out drawer that has all the little utensils for having a cheese board or a charcuterie board. It's pretty big and you can see the photo right there. If this thing will focus, there you go. So it looks just like that. You can put grapes, cheese, crackers. It comes with all the tools that you would need for your board. It feels quite heavy duty. I haven't opened it because this is, like I said, also a gift. Just to put a few snacks on there and crackers and fruit. It's an all-in-one set right here. Anyway, another thing that you can gift is a good old cookbook, but not just any cookbook. A soul food cookbook. This first one here, I actually picked out a few of the ingredients in this one for my mac and cheese that I do. And I've done a few recipes in this one and this one is so, so, so good. You have mac and cheese, you have slow cooker pulled pork, fried ribs, cornbread, baked bean cornbread dressing, soul food collard greens, candied yams. You even have some desserts in here. You have a lot to work with in this book alone so i have that one and then i also have the kitchen envy cookbook this one is newer to me i don't think i try or maybe i tried the candied yams from this one i follow her on instagram and her recipes look so good so i was like let me buy the cookbook and in here again you have desserts and you have main dishes side dishes just like so good who doesn't love soul food like who doesn't love soul food so if you want somebody to cook for you when you come over <laughs> go ahead and buy them a soul food cookbook i think that's such a good and tasty gift and then for the person in your life who loves to be organized or who needs some organization in their life i have some notepads right here that'll help to keep them organized and I bought these for myself because I like to jot things down and kind of see things physically that I need to get done so we have this one right here first and foremost it's just a smaller notepad to make smaller lists on then you have this larger to-do list then this is more of a daily planner so this right here you can literally write down your schedule your top priorities water intake some notes and it's a little bit more thorough but not as huge and intimidating as a full-on planner it's just more of a notepad style and then you also have this one right here which i'm almost all the way through because i use this almost every week it's the bliss collection grocery list literally it breaks it down from produce deli meat and seafood spices dairy and protein and you can just jot everything down that you need to get from the grocery store. And since it's categorized, you're not like going back and forth in the store because you're already in the section. You're like, okay, I need all of this from here and I need all of this from there. So this right here has came through a lot. And that is it for my 2021 holiday gift guide. So if you haven't finished your shopping or you haven't even started, or if you want to just get yourself a little something from this gift guide too, that works as well. But either way, hopefully this gave you some inspiration and some ideas. Anything that has links, because a lot of this, you know, like the snacks and stuff, obviously I'm not going to link. But anything that I can find online, I will link for you guys down below. Happy shopping and happy holidays. And I will see you all in my next video.